my treatment. My first hospitalization in 1999 was quite a foggy journey. All I could do was trust the expertise of the psychiatrist to prescribe me medication. I remember sitting up from the hospital bed the first night and the nurse administering me a pill. The next morning, my brain, which I felt completely worn out, confused and restless, suddenly became sedated. Dr. As Nasser asked if my mind felt more rested, and to my great relief, it already did. I stayed in the hospital for nine days and resumed classes. This was the beginning of a long road to recovery. I became a bit lethargic, slept more, and gained weight. However, this is what I needed to do to get better. Eventually, I became a proactive patient who inquired into options. I also had to be a patient patient. I understood that tweaking medications or letting the long-term effects of the medications to take their proper course took at least weeks or months. I met with the university counselor once a week to sort out my coping with my life. After a year, things finally felt more normal to me in everyday functioning. In 2001, I believed I was overly medicated, taking seven different types of pills. I had acute psychosis. The medications might have triggered my OCD anxiety attacks. And the months after my hospitalization, my psychiatrist gradually and carefully reduced my meds. I would not question the expertise of my psychiatrist for several years. In 2014, stopping my medications turned out to be a disaster. I was put on medications again to my reluctance, including sleeping pills. I relived all the side effects once again for the next two years until I tried a psychiatrist my friend referred me to. In 2016, that referred psychiatrist informed me that my medication caused OCD side effects. He changed my meds completely and within months, I lost 25 pounds. Instead of suffering a very disturbing and hellish anxiety attack every other day for hours at a time, it became less frequent, less severe, and less intense, and more manageable. In 2019, my psychiatrist switched me to a different medication to ensure a best possible healthy pregnancy. I wanted to be a mother. It turns out that this measure benefited me for seven months because during that time I became asymptomatic on only one med. With no anxiety attacks at all, I was functioning well. Yet, when I became pregnant, I became manic and my anxiety attacks returned. I needed to be stabilized. I checked into a psychiatric unit for the fourth time in my life. My psychiatrist made sure that the added meds were safe for my unborn twins. As my twin pregnancy was high risk, it was surely worrisome and stressful to go through.